I would like to begin by telling you a story about a boy named Ivan. Ivan was born in a boxcar without water and without electricity in Chihuahua, Mexico. During the summers, his father would work for the railroad, and during the winters, he would come to Colorado in search of work. When Ivan was six, his family found amnesty with the United States under President Reagan, and so they came to the United States then. Ivan's father was a drug addict, he was an alcoholic, and a domestic violence abuser. Needless to say, they moved a lot. By the time that Ivan was in seventh grade, right before his spring break, he was asked not to come back to school. So Ivan began working with his mom for the rest of that year. He worked her normal 15 hour, 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. job. Ivan went back to school in eighth grade, and he passed with all Ds. Having moved 11 times by the time that Ivan reached high school, the question could be asked, whether Ivan was a lost cause. I would like to talk to you today about the profound struggles of inner city youth and their desire for a future. First, I'm gonna talk about just the main causes and the main struggles that they have in rising from their position. And I'm also gonna tell you about a program called Colorado Uplift, which through developing long-term relationships, seeks to mentor kids so that they can have a better life. Now, according to Colorado Uplift's annual report, Ivan is only one in 65,000 kids in the Denver area who are labeled at risk. Now, what exactly does at risk mean? Well, according to an article written and published by the American Journal of Criminal Justice, at risk implies, but is not exclusive of, poverty, violence, social exclusion, limited social capital and education, empty families, and inequality. It turns out that 33% of these kids, that's one in every three children, won't graduate from high school. Now, the temptation to think is Denver's growing, and so maybe all of these problems are decreasing, but that would be false. According to the same article that I already referenced, they reference a study done by Schaefer and Eden that says that between the years of 1996 and 2011, deep poverty for children has more than doubled. Now, these problems may seem oppressive and, and painful, and they are, but we can still make a difference. When Ivan started high school, he encountered Colorado Uplift. Now, Colorado Uplift started in 1982, and they desired to create long-term, lasting relationships to break the generational cycles of poverty and broken families by accompanying these kids in their pursuit of healthy and fulfilling lives. Ivan entered their program called Little Lift, which made him a mentor for elementary age students. Now alongside daily meetings with his own mentor, Ivan began to learn responsibility for his actions. He began to view himself as a role model for other kids. This view changed Ivan's life radically. It gave him a mission and a purpose to seek for. Now, alongside changing Ivan's view of his own relationship with his peers, the relationship that Ivan created with his own mentor changed his life forever. As Ivan's mentor once told him, our, our work starts at 9 a.m. and ends at 5 p.m., although our hardest job is between 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. Now the difference between Colorado, Colorado Uplift and these other mentoring programs is that Colorado Uplift's mentors don't just hop in and out of a kid's life once every two or three weeks. Colorado Uplift's mentors are always ready and available, seeking to develop true and lasting long-term relationships for these kids who have so often lacked any true relationship in their lives. Now, as Ivan would attest, to change a kid's life takes time and perseverance. A lifetime of difficult circumstances cannot be overcome in a day. But Ivan did overcome his circumstances. It took Ivan all four years just to begin to turn his life around, but he did. Now, there's change happening because of Colorado Uplift. When we look at the statistics, they say that 5,600 kids are now enrolled in Colorado Uplift programs. 5,600 kids from 29 different public schools. 
98% of these kids are projected to graduate high school, and 86% of these kids will go on to college. Ivan went on to college, and now he is pursuing what he loves. He owns his own business, and, and he loves what he's doing. He's grateful and has told me many times that he will be forever in debt to the commitment that Colorado Uplift has and is making in our Denver community. Let us not despair about where we are right now. Change is possible in our community. Change is possible here.